Okay, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Hedera Hashgraph, um, some uh, project I've been meaning to look at. I did read a little bit about it. I do know a little bit about it, sort of, kind of, only because of it's a little bit different than a regular cryptocurrency project. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, it's at rank number 63, which is uh, pretty good. It's up there. Um, the volume is 101. Oh, the 24-hour volume is 101. Uh, we're looking at a circulating supply of 7 billion, uh, 149,552,667 bar. It's kind of specific. Uh, the total supply is 50 billion. Um, all right, let's go ahead and find out. Like, well, what is H bar, uh, H bar header hash graph? Here it says uh, we can find it on Binance. Um, it's paired with um, BTC, of course, USDT, which is huge. Um, uh, BUSD, uh, USD, uh, and it's on uh, hit BTC as well. All right. Let's go ahead. What is hetero hash graph or HBAR? Built as the trust layer of the internet, hetero hash graph is a public network that allows individuals and businesses to create powerful decentralized applications or dApps. It is, it is designed to be a fairer, more efficient system that eliminates some of the limitations that older blockchain based platforms face, such as slow performance and instability. It was funded through an initial coin offering in August 8, 2018, and first launched open access to its mainnet just over a year later in September 2019. As part of the ICO, investors were able to purchase the platform's native utility token, HBAR, at the lowest possible pricing. HBAR token has a dual role within hetero public network. First and foremost, HBAR, the fuel that powers hetero services such as smart contracts, file storage, and regular transactions. Second, it's used to help secure the network. Since HBAR users can stake their tokens to assist with maintaining the integrity of the platform. Once again, you guys, there we go with staking. Um, we know that staking is huge within the cryptocurrency space, and it's a great way uh, to make uh, additional money. So who are the founders of Hedera Hashgraph? Hedera Hashgraph has two founders, Dr. Lehman Bayard and Mance Harmon. Hopefully I got those names right. I'm really bad with names. Dr. Lehman Bayard is credited as the investor of the Hashgraph distributed consistency algorithm and currently works as Hedera chief scientist. Prior to founding Hedera Hashgraph, Baird accumulated more than a decade of experience in various computer science and security roles and previously worked as a senior research scientist at the Academy Center of Cyberspace Research. He also holds a position of co-founder co co and CTO of Swirls uh, Inc., a platform for building dApps. On the other hand, Mance Harmon is Hetera CEO and experienced technology executive and seasoned entrepreneur. There we go again, seasoned entrepreneur. Harmon has around two decades of experience holding executive roles at prominent firms many of which are in the IT security industry like Dr. Lehman Baird. Mance Harmon also holds a second position at Swirls Inc. as its co-founder and CEO. In addition uh, to, the co to the founders, Hetero leadership team also comprised more than a dozen individuals, many of which have had distinguished careers. So um, go ahead and take a look at what makes it special? So what makes Hetero Hashgraph unique? And by the way, uh, I kind of covered Hetero uh, Hashgraph a little bit when um, there was a video I made that compared all of, you know, um, I believe it's uh, Hollow Chain, um, The Next Frontier. I believe I titled it that, but basically it talks about the different uh, levels of blockchain. So um, you have blockchain, you have the regular, you know, blockchain and then um, you have the hash graph, and then there was something else, Gap, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and then you have Hollow Chain. So we have different variations of um, technologies here. It's very important to understand the different variations and what they're trying to do, because uh, obviously they're, they're going to affect our world differently. 
And header hash graph is something that is very unique. I don't it's I I don't dislike it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read more and I'll talk about that later. Unlike most other cryptocurrency platforms, Tether Hashgraph isn't built on top of the conventional blockchain. Instead, it introduces a completely novel type of distributed ledger known as Hashgraph. This technology allows it to improve upon many blockchain-based alternatives in several key areas, including speed, cost, scalability. Hetero transactions have an average transaction speed of just a uh, transaction fee of just 0.001 USD and typically reach finality in under five seconds. Overall, Hetero Hashgraph claims it can handle more than 10,000 transactions per second, compared to the around the five to ten for most popular proof-of-work based. Blockchains. Now, that's a very important for you guys to understand is that um, it, it says it can handle more than 10,000 transactions per second. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Visa, MasterCard, um, whatever they uh, run on, they handle around 25,000. They run around 25,000 transactions per second just to give you guys an idea. However, um, because everything is um, on a distributed ledger, and then in this case, a distributed ledger known as Hashgraph, it kind of um, goes a little bit faster and is a little bit more efficient. Now, uh, one thing I want you guys to understand is I personally like the idea of header Hashgraph, of what I've read so far, uh, because of the fact that, well, I've always, always liked the next frontier type technology and thinking outside of just the normal blockchain. We all see these, um, see these things going on with um, the, the ledgers clogging up, things becoming a little bit slower. Um, you look at Bitcoin, they're trying to have Bitcoin um, uh, transactions on the, on, the, um, on, the, on the Bitcoin ledger run faster. Uh, you, you know, you, you've got um, the Lightning Network and everything else in between. So they're trying to build things on top of, of the current blockchain technology because they understand that blockchain, and, and while you guys have to understand, you guys are, you, everyone that's a part of the cryptocurrency space right now, you are in the, like the very beginning. This is the roots of of technology. So while a lot of people, a lot of people in the world are trying to understand just Bitcoin and blockchain technology, um, we, us, me, you, people who are doing our own research, and um, we are people who are understanding, wait a second, technology is moving super fast. I can invest in this. We're investors. I assume most of us are investors. Um, because we do believe in certain projects. I do believe that some of us have our hearts into it more than our wallets into it. But me personally, I have my wallet more than my heart um, into it because of the fact that I do kind of want to earn income. So um, I'm not a professional advisor by any means. I'm not a professional anything. Make sure you guys do your own research and treat my comments as such. Now, um, as I was saying before, you have to understand that it's always a next level uh, of something, of technology. And it's those people who actually are able to think outside and say, hey, you know what? That's great technology. I like that. And now, you know, if you look at, um, and I'm going to mention it, Holochain, I'm almost going to make it in all my videos. But if you look at Holochain, it's like even further outside of, of the realm. And so it's always important to, to catch on and latch on to technology, not ideas, but technology. Because when the technology grows and you're investing in technology, that's going to um, help you as far as your uh, bank account is concerned. All right, off of that ramp, rant, excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Um, the platform offers several network services. These include a token service that allows users to easily configure and mint both fungible and non-fungible tokens on Hetero with just a few lines of code, a consensus service that acts as a layer of trust for any application or network that needs a secure, verifiable log of events, smart contract tools that let developers build powerful and efficient decentralized applications, decentralized file storage services with features including proof of deletion, control mutability, and time-based file expiry. So, um, yeah. Uh, how many header hash graph HBAR tokens are in circulation? Token HBAR is maximum 550 billion units. Out of this, almost 7 billion were in uh, circulation as of January 2021, equivalent to around 14% of the total supply. 
Um, Hetero publishes regular reports detailing when the next wave of HBAR tokens will be unlocked. These reports can be reviewed. And um, the two project founders each have grant a coin grant of 2 billion HBAR equivalent of 4% of total supply. These tokens are vested over a six year period. Um, okay. How is it secured? Uh, that's good. Hetero Hashgraph uses a novel consistency system known as Hashgraph Consistence to keep the ne its network uh, secure. These uses a rotating governing council consisting of up to 39 highly diversified organizations that span across 11 different industries. That's one of the things that I want to take. I, I, I couldn't remember it was 39 nodes or 39. Uh, apparently, they're saying 39 highly diversified organizations. Uh, these are involved with um, directing the header of code base, voting on platform decisions, and operating the initial nodes. Yes, there we go. Operating initial nodes on the header uh, public network. Hetero uses a novel form of proof of stake. There we go with the proof of stake. You guys I always say this all the time. Proof of stake, proof of work, proof of um, uh, history, all of these things. Um, understand, which allows HBAR users to take their resources to help protect the network. Right now, all hetero nodes are managed by either hetero itself or the governing council members, but there are plans to switch to a permissionless system in the future. So right now, um, it is not fully decentralized, and I don't think it ever will be fully decentralized. Um, you know, it's talking about a rotating governing council consists of 39 highly diversified organizations. That's still 39. You know, um, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get too deep into the technology, uh, te technological aspect of it, because um, I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction because I'm not, you know, I'm not there yet. Uh, so where can you buy it? HBAR is a popular asset it's available to trade on prominent exchange platforms, including Binance, Bitrex, and Huobi Global. So that's what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the website here. I have it pulled up here. Hello, future. Um, yeah, I don't know what it says. It says there's a commercial here. Um, Hetero Turkish service now on mainnet. Let's see if my computer can actually pull up the commercial. I think it's on YouTube, actually. Okay. Um, that's cool. And sorry, you guys. My computer is a little slow. My bad. Um, Imagine a future where the entire global economy is... I'm just going to pause it real quick. Um, all right. Maybe that'll work. <sighs> Tokenized. A future where markets are fair and accessible to all. A future where any asset can be tokenized and exchanged anywhere in the world. And this is um, something I want you guys to understand. Uh, it, it's making a great point. It says any asset can be tokenized. We're everything... Everything is going to be tokenized in the future. It just seems like that's the where every that's where everything is going right now. In seconds, for a fraction of a penny, this future is being built on Hedera today. Hello, tokenization. Hello, future. All right. Uh, it really didn't explain a whole lot, but that's okay. It's a cute little commercial there. Um, ooh, I need to scroll down because I think I just saw something very interesting here. Hedera is owned, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, Hedera is owned and governed by the world's leading organizations. Every Boeing, Boeing, this is huge, people. This is huge. Dentions, Douche Telecom, that's huge. T it looks like T-Mobile sign there. Uh, Delapier, F-Tops, Face, Google, IBM, LG, Mega, Number, Switch, there's, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, join the Future, uh, uh, Built on Trust. Uh, headers Trust, a layer of internet, a decentralized public network for you to make your digital world exactly as it should be yours, okay? Um, and then now it's talking about like the third, the third ledger um, and um, the third generation public ledger. It's funny how they're comparing themselves to the first, second um, and third generations. Uh, there's actually a fourth generation and um, 
there as well. And you can guys can see, remember, uh, for some of you guys who actually did see my video when I was comparing um, the different types of uh, ledgers and, and, and technology, you guys know very well that um, 10,000 um, transactions per second was actually um, the, um, the the second best one. It wasn't the um, like the first, the top, the fastest, which that goes to um, Holochain. Again, um, that's no longer a something that is just a theory. Uh, Holochain is actually going at it. But nevertheless, that's not to say that this isn't a wonderful project. So I don't want you guys beating me up saying that, oh, you know, you think Holochain is the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever. But I do think that uh, for a lot of people, especially the fact that um, it's out right now, I believe that it's going to make a lot of connections. It already has a lot of connections. And I think it's going to be fast. Um, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a great project. And I think it's going to work. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that. If I had extra money, I would invest in um, an H bar. So um, you can guys can see here, like they talk about the first generation, uh, the, you know, three, three transactions per second, the Ethereum generation. Um, and then you got an average fee here. You know, fees are a huge thing. And that's the issue right there. Um, that is the that is a huge issue when it comes to fees. Uh, a lot of people are um, going to different you know, uh, projects because of fees of uh, Ethereum. So you look at a transaction confirmation, 10 to 60 minutes. Man, it's, I'm telling you, man, sometimes, uh, you know, I used to, when I did have a little bit of Bitcoin, I used to switch it over and it used to take like forever, you know. Um, and then you got 10 to 20 seconds um, here on Ethereum network and then you have three to five um, seconds with uh, finality. So it, it's pretty good. So uh, overall, you guys, thank you guys for um, paying attention and um, really researching and taking a look at this project with me. If you guys have any questions or any concerns or if you want to comment, please let me know. What do you think about um, Hedder Hashgraph? What do you think about what's your favorite cryptocurrency? Maybe do you want me to take a look at. So um, you guys take it easy. Have a wonderful day. My final take on this on on. Um, header hash graph. It's header. It's gonna come out. It's gonna do great. I do believe that it's going to make it. Quote unquote. I believe that it's going to be stable because of not only just its technology, but because of the connections that they have. So um, yeah, I think I think they're gonna be in good hands. So if you have um, header hash graph, you're probably gonna be in good shape for years to come um, if you um, if you hold. So. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you guys very much. And um, as I always say, do your own research, do your own research, do your own research. Take it easy, you guys.